The leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, Ibrahim El Zazaki, may have been granted leave to seek medical treatment abroad, but it appears IMN faithfuls are cynical about whether the Department of State Services will obey court ruling. In a telephone conversation with Roots TV, IMN followers expressed satisfaction with the court judgment, which stipulates that government officials accompany El Zazaki and his wife on their medical trip to India. They say if Shedrezeki came back, they will continue to the, 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 the case. We are, we, we, we are ready to that. No problem. Let the Sheikh go attain his medical attention first. With a government official? Yes. This, this government is, is the government that always fabricates the law of this land. So they have already, they, they have already do it before. On, and, on, on 2016, uh, in Abuja, he order to release our leader and pay on compensation of to now. They never obey that 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 that, that court order. So we will still we will still see this on order they will obey the, the this government everybody knows this this is the government that always killing their people. This 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 Buhari this 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 Buhari administration is tyrannical administration. On the part of Nigerians it appears they are not impressed with the court judgment. For granting him base for him to go to India for the treatment is not right. It's not a right decision for me for my own personal reasons Why? it's not a right decision he can be treated here like other people have been treated in this country that is what they should do because they are no more important than other people he should have come earlier than this because um the the court has granted him bail his continued detention it's not it's not good for our democracy um where the government refused to obey court orders that it created, would, you, would the government expect citizens to, to obey the law? Actually, it's not coming at the right time because it has been. Yeah, they should have granted him bail for a long time so that he can go to seek, for, uh, seek his medical attention. Because, uh, as Elias said, people have been. life has, has been wasted because of that demand. At this particular point, they could drag this thing until it got to a point where there are so many destruction of life and property. You know, it shows there are certain things that are hidden from the public. El Zazaki and his wife have been in government custody since 2015, following a clash between his sect and the Nigerian army in Kaduna state. This has led to the death of hundreds of people, including six of the IMN leaders' children and property worth billions destroyed. The issue of uh, taking uh, Zaki for medical, uh, granting him medical uh, medical leave, if I should use that language, at this point in time I feel is quite belated. If, they, if we have a very sensitive and uh, and uh, and uh, organize a uh, government they would have done that before now and that would have possibly ameliorated this uh, incessant uh, unrest and killing all over the, the country. While the government has done its part to see the Shiite leader gets the medical treatment, Nigerians await to see if government will heed this court ruling or continue to hold the frail-looking Elza Zaki in detention.